Well, once again, we're in Jeremiah. This time we're in chapter 19. And we have the broken jar. <laughs> uh, we maybe have this left over from the potter's vessel yesterday, but we have a broken jar. And uh, as so many times when Jeremiah was getting his messages from the Lord, it starts out with, Thus saith the Lord. That's a good way to start anything that uh, he tells you. And he says, buy a potter's jar. And uh, I like visual aids. Uh, I've always enjoyed using visual aids from my pulpit. Uh, I have a message that I preach about, you're the salt of the earth, where I use different kinds of salt. Uh, I have done a message on the plumb line where I actually constructed some two by fours and a plumb line to demonstrate what a plumb line was for. And uh, Jeremiah is asked to use a visual aid for the people. And uh, what he does is he goes out and he smashes the jar and he said, this is what the Lord has in store for you. And he talks about all of the ways that the people have betrayed God, turned away from God, says, and so the Lord is going to smash you just like this jar. And then we know that uh, the calamity is going to come but it's not going to come for no reason at all. It's going to come because of their stiff-necked unbelief, stiff-necked idolatry, stiff-necked rebellion against God and his ways. And I believe that when calamity comes uh, in our individual lives and in our corporate lives and, and as a nation that very often, not always obviously, but very often it's caused by our stiff-neckedness by our stubbornness, by our failure to stop and really reason and think through things and to recognize that God's way is always the right way. In any case, I think the broken jar is a good thing for us to remember. I think when we think about Jeremiah going out and smashing that jar and saying, this is because of your own stubbornness, uh, that we need to remember that when we get stubborn and when we want to have our way no matter what and when we never listen to others we never listen to god and that's my thought for the day god bless you and have a great day